right, so today what we are going to do is we are going to unbox the Milwaukee Brushless Quarter e quarter Hex Inch Impact uh, kit that was for the Black Friday slash holiday sale. This cost $100. Well, I actually paid $89 because uh, my Home Depot uh, had it $10 off. So what you get with this, you get the Brushless Quarter Inch Hex Impact, get a one 2 amp hour battery, a charger, and uh, a bag. So this is model number 2850-21P. And so yes, uh, this was awesome, an awesome uh, deal that they uh, that Home Depot had for the Milwaukee. And uh, I'm excited to get this because I have the fuel version. Uh, we are gonna, in the future, see what the difference is between the fuel and just the brushless version. And of course, we are gonna majorly test this out against all the other brands in a lot of different situations. So uh, let's just get to unboxing this and see what this can do. Just that little guy, I think. I think that's it. And there it is the bag. And after the bag, the box is empty. Recycling. All right, so first thing you get in the bag, of course, is their catalog and instructions. Uh, does that, yes, the instructions. All right, I just see, I just see instructions for the, there we go, all righty. So there are both instructions on there. All right, so then the next thing you get is you get the charger, which uh, I love this charger. It's the supports both M12 and M18 system. And so yes, like I said in previous videos, the M12 charger alone sucks. They, they should just throw this in there. It's smaller and it's two birds with one stone. So that uh, M12 charger alone, that unit sucks. That's the, the, that's the money maker. All right, so uh, just spacing, and we get a two amp hour battery. There we go. Battery is dead. Then we get the quarter inch hex impact. Look at that, that, is, that looks awesome, brand new. That looks awesome, brand new. Like I said, it's one thing to see it in the store, and then it's a completely different uh, than to hold it in your hand. Now, one thing I, this is my second time doing this to an unboxing for Milwaukee, but I don't film it. One thing, the only thing I don't like is there is actual oil on this. Wipe that oil off because I don't want to get that on other stuff as well. Just the access oil. And there we go. Let's see if this has some sort of a charge. LED light underneath the collet. Uh, this is a variable trigger only. The model number for this is D85-20. Uh, it is 0 to 3,400 RPM and uh, 0 to 4,200 impacts per minute. Now, that is a lot. 4,200 impacts per minute. That is a lot. So this thing is probably extremely powerful. All right, so what we are going to do is we are going to let the battery charge and we are going to continue with the test. All right, so I used to wear these gloves to do these tests and work in the garage, but these gloves turned out to be too thick for me to actually grab anything. So I got the thinner gloves, and uh, these are actually working out really well. And so I'm able to grab little objects, you know, with no problem whatsoever. And they also, they still keep my hands warm. So I'll be using these gloves for now on while I'm in the, in the garage. But we have the battery full, full bars. 
So we are gonna test this out on a couple of timber lock screws and a couple of lag screws. 10 inch timber locks, one four and a half inch lag, and one eight inch lag. And let's see if this is capable of driving this in. But first we start out small. Let's do a couple of, uh, let's do a couple of uh, timber locks. All right, so variable speed trigger only, no speed setting. So let's see what this is, this is capable of doing. All right, so ready? Not bad at all. That's I could tell it's dense right there too. Not bad at all. all right, so let's do it. Try to do it on the same line. All right, so ready. Go. Not bad at all for a hundred dollar uh, uh, drill uh, impact kit. Not bad at all. Let's uh, take those two out. Ready? Go. It slipped a little bit. That's my bad. That is my bad. All right, so ready? Go. Very, very good. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now, this thing is exceptionally doing well. Now, I do not know... I do not know what it's going to be like against its bigger brother. But we will find that out in the, in the future. And we're also... In the future, we're going to see on how well this does with better batteries. Right now, this is just a test on the kit itself. So we're going to continue to use a 2 amp hour battery. It is at 3 bars right now. Let's swap this out. Put the half inch to a quarter inch uh, inch X uh, hex uh, socket adapter. Now, do you just push this in? No, nope, you actually need to adjust the collet. Then we're good to go. And for this test, we're going to use Tac Life impact rated sockets. Like I say in the previous videos, I use one mainly use one socket and for every single one of these tests and it is majorly holding up majorly holding up put that there more convenient instead of going to find it this is light this is actually like i don't feel like i'm holding a tool which is a good thing this is seriously a light tool that is forward all right so we are going to start off with uh Four and a half inch lag. Uh, where should we put it? We'll do it right here. All right, so ready? Go. That is it. I can tell there there is major, not major, but there is a vibrate. You could your hand vibrates while you do that. It does vibrate. What's the battery at? Battery's at three bars still. But it's a it's a non-fueled brushless version of their impact, which is which is awesome. Which is awesome. All right, let's take it out. Ready? Go. I'm actually going to, I'm curious what it's going to do with the 8 inch. Alright, so we got an 8 inch right here. Uh, I think right here should be pretty good. Zoom out a little bit. Alright, 8 inch up. The battery life is at 3 bars. Pretty, pretty good still. That first bar went like nothing. But the, after that, the, it's, it seems to be holding the char, uh, holding a good charge. All right, so ready, go.
time. It did it. Two amp hour battery. No, nothing special about it. It did it. Make sure it's not, I don't think it's, no, it doesn't smell like it's burning at all. Nope, not at all. All right, so we'll let that, hey, it's back to two bars. Let's do it, before we do that, let's do a quick temperature reading. 86 degrees, 90, 89 degrees. All right, so let's take it out. Let's see if it's even able to. If not, we're gonna grab the three amp hour high output battery and take that out. All right, so ready, go. Easily with a low battery with a low battery That is apps. What's the battery life? Is that blinking? No, it has one bar left It did the task it drained the battery, but it did the tasks that we had to do today Now let's let's do a little uh, a little stress test on that this battery. Let's see if it's capable of doing a timber lock screw I just want to see it with, with, with the battery as low as it is, if it's capable of doing it. All right, so ready, go. Easily. Easily. Battery's still at one bar. All right, let's take it out. I think this, has, this one had enough for today. Ready, go. Oh yeah, this uh, this impact driver earned its keep. Let's do a quick temperature reading on this. Ninety-eight degrees, hundred and one, hundred and one degrees, hundred and one. Uh, I would sit with it. not not bad. See, that's one thing about Milwaukee. It will 100% perform like it's a dead, uh, like it's a full battery to 0% life on the battery. This, it did, a, I'm amazed it did this with a two, just, just a 2 amp hour battery. Imagine if it uses a high output battery. Because that sound is awesome. It's like, it's like a winding sound. It's awesome. So yeah, this is once again this is the model number uh 2850 uh yeah, 2850-20. And yeah, this uh this impact majorly earned its keep today. Majorly. Good job Milwaukee. And like I said, all these brands that I have are doing an excellent job with building up their tool brand. This channel supports all tools. So, that's pretty much it. This has been the unboxing and demonstration of this. This has not been a hardcore stress test. That had that hasn't even started yet. We're just getting started with uh, with this channel. Please subscribe. Uh, hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. Plenty of videos coming up. We're only at the beginning of this channel. So this is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.